Hey guys, have you been dying to live in the Westland Park Sunbridge area of St. Cloud? Well, how about a townhouse that's under 500,000 that is luxury? Stay tuned, I got the right house for you. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And today we are here in Westland Park in St. Cloud in Sunbridge. <laughs> That's a lot, right? <laughs> now behind me is the Connor Townhouse model by Ashton Woods. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bathrooms, two car garage, 1691 square feet and available at this at a price that i'm about to give you between august and september at a starting price of 418 or 444. now the cdd and hoa is right here this is a beautiful community up and coming in sunbridge area where they're developing month by month day by day so give me two seconds hit the like and subscribe and let's go check this house out Orlando realtor and today we have the connor right behind me as i was telling you it's a great luxury townhome. Look at how different it is. I love how the second floor bumps out from the bottom floor, giving it texture to the home, uh, including those little wood beams that cross off by the window sections of the home. High peak, and I love that middle stair window with the metal overhang right above, right above the door. Very nice. And that green door, Pam, check that out. That's an unusual green. I, I haven't mean, seen that color. At Christmas time, this is the house. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, as we walk up ma ma um, ugh, mature landscaping, <laughs> it'll go, uh, we'll follow you up to the pathway with beautiful pavers coming up to the first step of the home. Now, we have a small GFCI right here for those Christmas lights for that door. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have a nice glass uh, partition window here. We have a ring doorbell and we have a combo lock here with the black accents. Love that. Very nice, guys. So we're gonna head into the home and let's check out the rest of this house. All right, guys. So numero uno, when we stepped into this home, we have a small uh, entry point right here, which is really nice to, um, you know, greet your guests. But more importantly, that mirror to check out how you look when you're walking out the door. <laughs> we have a coat closet here in Florida, maybe a sweater closet. I think it's a sweater. Yeah. But I will really want to point out, guys, is this long 12 by 24 tile uh, full wood look that they have going out through all this model right now it's a very luxurious look i like it we have one two three four five six windows here right very nice now we have a special guest here rosalie say hi <laughs> it's my granddaughter but we also have a living room right here for this section of the home now pam well, how, what size is this living room well, I measured the whole open space mm -hmm. from there all the way to the kitchen. From the kitchen. Okay. Which is 24 by 16. So 24 by 16. 24 Which gives by you, 16. A, yeah, gives you a comfortable living area. As you can see, Rosalie hanging out right here. Would be more family members hanging out, watching anime cartoons like she likes. So that would fit perfectly. And what I love about it, that it's being open, would flow into your dining area here, right? which is a great area, two windows in the back for natural lighting, right? And then you have the kitchen area. Now, before we go into the kitchen area, I want to show you your half bath or powder room for your guests. I think it turns on as Pam goes in. There you go. <laughs> very Look at slowly. That. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> we have sensor lights throughout. Very nice. As you can see right here, all the sensor lighting right below the thermostat. But what is really cool is this upgraded kitchen that you can actually pick options for now i do love how big this island is what's that pam seven by four seven by four nice big old feature lights right here right and then you have your starting with your cabinet cubby right here for the fridge goes up we have the crown molding on the top 42 inch cabinets we have the range that goes outside the home Right, so you're taking away all those fishy smells or if somebody burns something weird, 
out the house. <laughs> then we have the electric range, which is a five burner. Go ahead, Pam. It's too tall. I, you beat me to it. <laughs> she beat me to it, guys. I was about to go there next. Good job, Pam. Good job. So Finally, we have, I noticed. <laughs> I know. It's the gray with the brass, right? Soft slam. Look at that, right? And then you got white on this side with the pan drawers. I love the pan drawers. Those very are nice. nice. With the black accent handles. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Then we have this white marbling quartz on top of the island and the runs. Go ahead, Pam. I was just going to say from this end to mm -hmm. that end is nine feet. Nine feet. Beautiful. And then the brick subway tile here. And then do you have the measurement for the next run with the sink? Yes. What's Ten that? foot. Ten foot. So we have 19 feet almost of surface top, Correct. which is really great. We have the all in style brass or gold uh, industrial gooseneck. And I love that it's right in front of the window. I like the big sink. Yeah. But it's that uh, composite. It's the carpet. Composite. Yeah. White and composite. That's really nice. You have your disposal here. But look, the same quartz that's on the top of the tops are, is the sill as well. That's nice. Yeah. So we have the long 42-inch cabinets right here for the coffee cups or the spices. <laughs> but guys, of course, if it's a gourmet kitchen, we're going to have our 42 inch on top crown molding. We're going to have our microwave convection oven and then your regular oven here. So you have the dual oven and then your doggy drawer, really big and really deep. Lots of treats could fit in there for them. <laughs> and we're going to close that up. And I do like the back side that's paneled off of the island with the seats. So you can fit three to four people there comfortably. Now, moving on guys, we get into the hexagon tiles on the laundry room here. So there's a good size laundry room. Now the upgrade in that laundry room is those cabinets, right? So you can add those 36 inch cabinets in there if you want. And is there a notch out? Yeah, there's a little, little space here. Yeah, yeah. Your data panel should be probably behind the door. I'm sorry, we're like I'm, I'm, locking Pam in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So there is your- Let me out, let me out. Sorry, Pam. <laughs> and then we have a good size pantry in here, right in the corner. Love that. Now guys, we're going to head to the outside section of the home where you have another panel door. It's going to be a little noisy because your air conditioning spot is right back here. But this is like a, uh, what do they call it? Like a foyer maybe? Uh, what are they? Portico? Portico, oh, yeah. Yes. Something like that, right? It's a small Wait, patio. We don't know the fancy words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Outdoor space. It, it's, yeah, it's an outdoor patio space. We, You know, enough here. I love the wooden fence. It gives it a nice little texture feature for it. We got GFCI right here. And of course, right, right next to your condenser is your grill. That It's just showing that, that you could put a grill there and it fits nice and comfortable. You might have the house smelling like barbecue sauce once it falls in the fan, <laughs> but okay. And then we got another white fence, but I do love the little cover here. And you're right, this is the, probably the portico, all yeah. right? Because that would be like the when you pull up in a restaurant, the little roofing. Yes. Almost the same thing here. Now, guys, we have another door that goes into your two-car garage. So, guys, if you want to, you know, put park your cars here and then you have a little space for a gym, this would be a nice little feature to do, right? Now guys, let's go back in and we're going to go up the stairs as Pam follows us through what the stairs look like because it has this nice little wood and wrought iron going all the way up to our second floor area and I'll let you know what's close to us. So as Pam goes up the stairs, guys, we have a brand new Publix now come in the area about five minutes away. We're going to have Lake Nona, which is about 10 minutes away. The beaches, all right, on the east side will be about an hour and five minutes away. And the airport is about a good 20, 23 minutes away. All right, guys, so here we are on the second floor of the Connor. Now, I know there's a section over here, and that's a teaser. <laughs> but we're going to go down this hallway first, and we enter our first bedroom, right? And this is my type of bedroom. So you guys might know that I used to live in the Bronx with my wife. I met her in the Bronx, grew up in Manhattan. So this is an actual subway station in the Bronx. <laughs> 161st Street, I know you well. <laughs> but we got a good sized bedroom here. We got a window for natural lighting. We do have a closet here on the corner. And Pam, as you're showing that closet, what is the square footage or the footage or 10 by 10. 10 by 10. 10 by 10, good sized room, love it. It's for the photographer and 
I guess the artistic person of the home. Very nice. I love the gray. It's very sharp, mm -hmm. right? So, and then there's a full size bed and you have side tables. Fits very comfortably. I would put a TV here, but you know how I roll. <laughs> well, actually, they have the connection there for it. Yeah. They already yeah. have the channel. See, the builder agrees with me. Yes, they do. <laughs> now, guys, as we head towards the back of this hallway, we have a room, utility closet, bathroom. Pam is going to show you what that bathroom looks like. Hey, guys. Now, we have... Oh, a mess. Yeah. We have the uh, tub with the subway tile all the way up. Very nice. I love the brass. I just like that look. It really looks good. Then we have the vanity here with the same materials as the kitchen, which is that quartz, white cabinetry, brass handles, large framed in mirror. That's nice. And yeah, we nice. have the uh, pendant lighting on top, but we also have hexagon tiles in that bathroom floor. Love that. Now we're going to pull out this way. And as we're pulling on this, this room, Pam's going to show you the utility closet just to know that you have AC on the second floor. <laughs> and then we roll into this. Second bedroom down here, up here, sorry. It's framed as a, or is designed as a, or furnished as a. <laughs> staged, staged, staged as. as a. <laughs> as an office, right? Has seating area. You have your table here, two chairs, lots of shelving, two windows for natural lighting facing the front of the home, which I like, brings in lots of natural light. But Pam's gonna show you the walk-in here. It's a half walk-in. Very nice. And Pam, what's this room? 10 by 10. Another 10 by 10, guys. Very nice. Listen, 10 by 10 is good. If the kids are out the house, or even if you have small kids, it's really good. But it's not really, really comfortable for your guests. So after Disney, they got to go home. <laughs> now we have another walk-in closet or hallway closet here for storage. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And now, guys, the tease is over. We get to the primary bedroom of the home. I love the way they designed this room. Four windows right off the back. So one, two behind each nightstand, king size bed, have a big wooden bench, the seating area, cadenza with the mirror, right? And these windows face the front of the home and that one faces the side of the home. So if you're in a corner lot, lots of views of the community, love it. Now, you're probably gonna put your fan here. It's a high hot right now. Okay, we need a fan. <laughs> but here is our primary bedroom suite here. Now I love, look, they did the gray. I know. They did the gray instead with the, with the brass handles. I love the uh, top sinks that they go in, brass handles on that. Large mirror, love the pendant lighting. Look at that. I'm trying to hide my bear. Yeah. <laughs> and wow, look at that shower. The shower is beautiful. Uh, rain head is included. And then you have the uh, regular hardware in there with the niche, pseudo edging. Love that all that gray tile matches, even the tiny little pocket tiles on the floor and a bench. I'm gonna let Pam do her tour. You have a bench. I love that you have separate knobs, very nice. And these glass doors are gorgeous, very nice. Love it with the seamless glass. Good job. Now I got one more thing to show you. Coming out of the primary, we do have a hey, primary closet. A walk-in closet. Yeah. Which is nine feet long. Nine feet long. Now, and how big is the primary? 16 by 12. 16 by 12. That's the only thing we missed. <laughs> Guys, this is the Connor. I really hope you love this house. Hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below if you want to stay informed on what's going on in Central Florida and from coast to coast because we take care of that. It does help our channel. But again, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. My number is 407-790-0929. And I'll see you guys on the next video.